All right. Well, hey, welcome back to Mirrorless Minutes, and tonight a special uh, guest. Uh, let's see if I can uh, get this right. The digital story, the nimble photographer, writer, videographer, um, video maker, uh, <laughs> editor, correct? Uh, all of that and above and more, Derek Story. And uh, here he is live, straight out of California. <laughs> That's right. Well, right. Welcome, Derek. We appreciate you hey. taking the time to come on tonight. It's uh, it's been a real honor to have you. That's for sure. Oh, it's my pleasure. Hey, and coming from uh, soggy California, so it's even better. Oh, we're, we're very yeah. happy. We've got yeah. precipitation. Oh, exactly. We've had so, precipitation uh, all week. So oh, that's good. So maybe they'll start serving water in the restaurants. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it'll be another two or three years before we see that. But <laughs> yeah. That's All right. So up. I just want to get this out of the way really early yes. in the show. I just want to say a uh, big thank you to Derek for coming on. I've been following you since uh, this week, uh, since Twit Photo with Leo. And oh my God. Me, so, oh uh, yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's about the time that I first got into photography, so um, uh, this is like a huge kind of fanboy moment for me. So oh, again, that's just awesome. a, a big thank you for coming on. It's a it's a big deal for me. So it is I appreciate. It. I love the work you guys are doing, both of you. So you know, this oh. is cool. This is a, yeah, a pleasure thanks. to be here. Yeah, and it'll it'll, uh, it'll be fun this year. We get to uh, actually get together. Besides the stuff that we'll talk about in the show with. Um, the San Francisco will be uh, at out of Chicago, am I right? You're gonna be there this year. Uh, I am indeed. So, so that, I am gonna do a workshop and. Yep. I am gonna do the. I signed up for the whole the whole program. So. You, you, you went in all. <laughs> you dove in all the yeah. way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I haven't uh, been to Chicago for a while, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh yeah, exactly. And it, what a blast! I know we did it last year, and I attended the first year, but last year we did it with. Uh, Jamie and I did, and um, what a great response when you say Jamie. I mean, it was just amazing. It was incredible. Yeah, I was yeah, blown away. Feedback, and it's just fun to meet everybody. Gosh, you know, I, I know you had that same thing, too. Everybody follows you or you're there. It's, it's good to actually, like, human contact is a nice thing. Um, <laughs> Especially for, for me outside of the West Coast, you know. So right. It's a, I don't, I don't get true. to the East Coast as much or the Midwest, mm -hmm. so... You know, right. it's, it's always there's kind of a little pent up thing there, so that's that's great. Well, you can um, you can put forth your um, advertise some of your wedding photography for new brides in, in Chicago, right? There you go. There you go. Right? There you I, mean, go. I, I I looked at your I look I looked at the whole price list that you got there. You're ready to go. Right? Yeah, I am. I am. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, just give me, you out there. Just give me enough time to uh, you know uh, 30 days out, so I don't have to yeah. you know, get killed on the plane fare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, let's let's see. I, I wanted to throw a couple of things at you tonight. I know we talked a little bit sure. about before the show, but the one that interests me the most uh, has zero to do with anything, I guess, uh, at all with uh, uh, new tech, and it's all old tech, and it's this this film project that you've started. And if anybody listens, they know they've heard it on this week's uh, podcast, your podcast. What was it number? I've got to, I've got to say the number, 509. Am I right? 509, man. 509. 509. 10 years. <laughs> yeah. I know Jamie and I just finished up one year a couple of months ago. I'm trying to think, ooh, nine more? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah I, when I started uh, the digital story, I go, okay, how am I going to come up with something for every week? You know? And, right. <laughs> Somehow I managed later. to do it for uh, for ten years. So that's so. oh, it's fantastic too. Yeah. Um, very clean. I'll tell you what. Anybody that wants to run, uh, learn how to run a podcast, uh, you can, at least we try to aspire to that. <laughs> right. <laughs> we're not there, but we're trying. Um, so yeah, tell, you, tell you do it. You do it five hundred times. You start to get you better get at right? it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. So how about the film project? I'd love to hear about it because it's just yeah. tell us from the beginning how it happened. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll tell the story. And, you know, this falls under the heading of personal projects, which mm -hmm. I just think, you know, Mike and Jamie, I just think we're at the perfect time of year for a personal project because uh, 2017, uh, I mean, uh, 2016, you know, you're looking at, okay, what am I going to do that's just for me? Right. You know, I mean, we do stuff for other people. We do stuff even, you know, we do stuff to get likes like on Instagram and all that. I mean, there's there's all this 
motivation that's outside of just pure picture taking. So uh, you know, rather, so I, I decided to talk about the film project as an example mm -hmm. of uh, a personal project. You know, and you could pick anything that you wanted, uh, as long as you're passionate about it, and as long as it's just for you. You know, and mm -hmm. then you know it, it can uh, evolve into something else later on. So uh, I've had uh, the when I do the book, it'll probably be called 16 Rolls, uh, because. I had 16 rolls of Fuji Color 400H uh, sitting in the bottom of my fridge now since 2007, <laughs> and uh, it's down there in the where the lettuce is supposed to be, you know, down there. <laughs> and uh, you know, I can see it down there every time I open the fridge. You know, you can see it through the the kind of the clear plastic, and uh, and most of the time I ignore it. Sometimes I open it up and we'll look at it, and then I'll just close it. <laughs> and uh, I, I had, and it was left over from wedding. You know, when I used to shoot weddings, I shot you know a Fuji Color Pro 400H. Right. So I was going, uh, you know, and I didn't want to throw. I got, I had 16 rolls left in a box of 20. So it's been down there, and I've been threatening to do something with it. And so I write all the time. And one of the people I write for is Rocky Nook. And uh, you know they're a great book publisher of photography books. If you if you haven't checked them out, go to RockyNook.com. They're they're cool people. Right. They're passionate about photography. And um, so I you know I had to do my weekly uh, uh, article for them. And uh, I was going okay. What am I going to write about? What am I going to write? So I opened up uh, Bruce Barnum's book about uh, you know creative photography and flipping around. And he made this assertion that I've heard a billion times. Which is shooting film will make you a better digital photographer. All right, all right. You know what? I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, really, I mean, it, I mean, that's the kind of you know, that's the kind of the artsy stuff we hear all the time. You know, from mm -hmm. it, especially the people that are you know, you know, anti-gas. Uh, mm -hmm. So um, you know, so I was going. You know what? I'm go I want to test this. I want to test this thing. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take Bruce up on this. So. I said, I'm going to use those 16 rolls, and I'm going to do a film project. Uh, I'm, I'm going to, you know, make it cool. And then at the end of it, I'm going to decide, you know, hey, did this, you know, did this help me with my other photography or not? Right. I don't know yet. I don't, I don't know how that's going to go. But that's, so um, I, I decided which camera. And uh, so okay. I'm going to use this baby right here. Yeah, I was going to ask you this. that. Yeah. Oh, this is sweet. This is a Contax T2. And uh, it has an aperture ring on it. it has mm -hmm. a Carl Zeiss 38 millimeter f2.8 sonar T-star coated lens on it. Uh, you can do manual focusing uh, with it. it. Has exposure compensation. Uh, you know, for a little camera, you know, because I am the nimble photographer. Yes, for a little exactly. camera, this this thing is uh, is pretty cool. So yeah, that's sharp. Uh, I have, so you can not, can you you can manual focus that? Yeah, you with this little dial. A manual focus and it's in it doesn't do focus peaking or anything what it does mm -hmm. is it uh, it gives you a green confirmation light when you nail it wow. yeah, oh, just really? like just wow. like with autofocus and it has a red triangle on each side so if you're too far one way that this red triangle lights up and then this one lights up then when you get the green light boom you're there which means mm -hmm. then you can do exposure compensation separately so wow. for a little camera you know that's that's pretty slick so I'm using this and then I'm using an app uh, we call Day One, mm -hmm. and uh, I I didn't know about this app. This app is crazy neat. And you, Mike, you said that you were taking a look at it, right? Yeah, I, yeah. I've been doing a I've been doing a project. Uh, it's it's personal in nature, but it also has some some things to do for Olympus as well, so it works well. But uh, and you know I've just been recording everything probably like you would have in the past or anything. You know I got my notes and I'm scribbling out what I'm writing and you know, and I'm trying to take pictures or re or record into notes. You know, and on the i or on the iPhone, you know, the notes section. But your sounds mm -hmm. nice. It's got you know, it tells you where you were, it tells you the weather you were saying, everything. Yeah, no. So, so this thing is yeah. cool. So uh, what you do is uh, the way I work is I first I take the film picture. If I see something I want, I take the film shot, mm -hmm. and I and I try to keep it to just one or two or three frames. You know, again, not digital, right? We don't take right. 87 shots of a tree, you know, right? <laughs> just do one or two shots and be done. Yeah. 
you're done, right? So mm -hmm. then after I do that, then I pull out the iPhone and I shoot the same shot with the iPhone. It captures every, uh, everything, you know, all the metadata, the GPS, mm -hmm. time, place, and everything. And, and it even uh, captures the weather at the time. So that shot then gets added to the journal entry in day one. Day one reads all that data off the phone shot, mm -hmm. adds the picture to the top, and then put the data at the bottom. So you have all of that just by virtue of taking the shot. Mm -hmm. Then all I have to do is just uh, write my notes for the shot, and I, I write the aperture and, and the shutter speed and all that stuff. And then I have a shot, I have my notes, and I have you know all the metadata. It's all right there. And then the last thing that day one allows is tagging. So then mm -hmm. each roll of film has a tag. So for me, it's, you know, the film project. So it's TFP001 is the first roll of film, 002, right. and all that. So then um, when I get the film back from the lab, then in the archival sheet, uh, it'll that tag will, will go on there also. So then I'll be able to match. When it's time to put the book together, I'll be able to match everything up. I just match up the shot uh, with the yeah. journal entry, with the film shot that I want, process it uh, however I'm going to do it, write up a nice little piece about it, and it's it's all really tidy. And uh, one other thing I'll say about it, there's also a Mac uh, OS X version of day one, and really? everything gets backed up through the cloud. Oh, so, so it can be right you, on the Mac. Oh, yeah, yeah, and so mm -hmm. it has handoff. Mm -hmm. So you can start writing on your phone and then finish it on the Mac nice. or finish it on your iPad or whatever. And, yeah. uh, and it's all backed up, too. Wow. You could, yeah. uh, that almost sounds like something, if you're a big iPhone shooter, you, you could do a nice 365-day project with your iPhone with that thing and, and have something to write about it. Yeah. I totally agree. You know, so going yeah. back to the umbrella uh, theme here, a personal project, you right. could just do your personal project with that app in an iPhone. I mean, mm -hmm. really, and just do something really neat. You can uh, output your entries to PDFs and, you know, do all sorts of stuff oh. with them. It's it's $4.99 for the app, you know. Yeah. Man, <laughs> what a steal. Man, that's, that, that's, and, and I always laugh when people get mad about that. That's not $0.99? Like, right. Come on, $4.99? You're spending, yeah. you know, how much did you spend well, on Photoshop? <laughs> well, you know, this is the same. So I, I yeah, so I did. Uh, I had to do a portrait shoot today, where I hired the model because I'm doing it for uh, a project. I'm for Linda, mm -hmm. and um, and I I always pay models, and you know I try mm -hmm. to pay them well because they got it. They have to spend time getting ready before, then they spend their time with you, and then they're usually kind of spent after the shoot, right? So their day is shot. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I, I'll give them pictures too, but, uh, you know, I pay them. And I feel the same way about software developers. I mean, those guys come up with some cool stuff for us to use. They work hard at it. It's, it's you know, that is, that's a real talent. And, you know, yeah. giving them, you know, four ninety nine or two ninety nine for something that makes our life better. Come on, you spend that much on a Starbucks. Right. Seriously. Oh, yeah. Easy. <laughs> yeah. And they continue that's to awesome. develop, too, you know. So their, their day is never done with the software in most cases. They're always working. So. Never. Oh, never, yeah. And, and you know, and we want them to, you know, make other stuff, too. Oh, right? yeah. Right, so. Exactly. We exactly. want them to update if something doesn't work right. Right, Adobe? <laughs> There's always that. <laughs> we, uh, and not to bring up a sore point, because it's a real sore point for me too, though, Derek, is we don't mm -hmm. want them to be the next carousel. You know, we do not want them to be that, the next. That carousel. really ticked me off too. I heard you today yeah. on, on your podcast. I thought, God, you can, darn it, you can you can almost uh, say aperture and segue <laughs> into something else that we were going to talk about tonight. Well, that really, well. yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, anyway. Yeah, uh, so we'll, we'll we'll do some software in a minute. So just to put a bow on this photo yeah. project. Um, so uh, once I'm out of the 16 rolls, once I've shot it mm -hmm. all up, then that part of the project's over. So then uh, uh, I'll go through there and I'll pick out, you know, what I feel are the strongest shots and the best stories, right? Because mm -hmm. it's going to be shot story on each right. spread. And uh, then I'm going to build a book, and uh, then I'll 
you know, and I'll, uh, you know, I'll publish it myself. I'm not shopping this book around, so I'll, I'll publish it myself, and um, just, uh, you know, it's whether I do ten copies or ten thousand copies, it, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't make any difference to me. But mm -hmm. uh, I hope to have the book done, you know, in the fall of next year. Right. And right. Uh, it's just uh, my personal project for for uh, this year, and I t I can tell you this already. Just doing something that's just for me and not for you know all the other mm -hmm. things that we have to do, it's cool. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really cool. Yeah, that yeah. that might be that might be what's making you a better photographer when it comes around to it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's actually, that it may not be just the film, but you know you'll you'll be able to tell us you're you're the one that's doing it. So do you, sure. yeah. do, you always, ahead, do you always carry that contacts around with you so that when you do have a free moment and, and you do see something, you're ready to part, make that a part yeah. of your project? Absolutely. So it's in yeah. my, uh, my little bag that I carry all day. So mm -hmm. I have uh, the T2 in there, contacts, and then I have uh, EM5 Mark II, and then I have the little uh, GM5. So mm -hmm. those are uh, – and then my iPhone, of course. You know, which yeah. Is, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so my, uh, my metadata capture device. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, I do have another question, though, off of that. So I, I've been shooting film for, well, besides the years before I did ever pick up digital, but mm -hmm. back into it now, um, working with uh, camera. What are you using to process? Are you? I know you said you're doing something local, because I'm using, like, darkroom.com, and uh, I like how they put together their stuff for me. That was good. But what yeah. are you doing? Well, I'm glad you brought that up because that mm -hmm. you know you're right. I mean, every aspect of this project, I wanted it to be cool, and mm -hmm. so I didn't want to send it off to you know you know yeah. Filmlandia or us. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, so I, I you know I did an internet search. And I go, there's got to be a local joint here in town. I'm in Santa Rosa, mm -hmm. California. Right. Sure enough, sure. I totally lucked out on this. There's a place <laughs> down in the uh, in the art district. We, mm -hmm. we have a lot of artists up here in Northern California. So there's right. a place down in the art district called Jeremiah's Photo Corner. And I go, <laughs> oh, I love it already, man. <laughs> so you know, so um, I I went down there. It was like a rainy day, you know, when I took the first roll down there. I went down there, and it's a uh, it's a shop. Uh, it's a little corner shop down in the in the art area there, and uh, in the front area they've got darkroom supplies and stuff over here. They've got uh, old film cameras, uh, you know, used film cameras and stuff for sale over here. And then they actually have some, you know, modern accessories too, like you know, me photo tripods and some stuff like that. Right. It's just, it's just nice little mix with like you know, kind of the funky Christmas light there all year, and you know, the whole deal. <laughs> and um, Film goes out once a week, so you know you go in there and you got to get it. You know about Thursday by noon, and then uh, it goes out on Thursdays, and then it comes. You know, obviously it comes back on Thursdays too. They just do one trip, mm -hmm. and then so then Thursday afternoon you can go pick up. You know whatever you dropped off the the previous week, and um, so I'm my stuff's being processed C41, and then I'm having it scanned. But I'm not having the scans corrected. I'm having them do tiffs and just mm -hmm. how, whatever the character of the film is. That, you know, that's what I want the scan to be. Well, and and, uh, yeah. and it adds a nice story filter. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, the, the yeah. 2007 mm -hmm. bottom of the refrigerator digital story <laughs> filter for it. But uh, you know, going there and interacting with them, and you know, these are all obviously these are all. You know, college students love film, right? I mean, you oh, know, uh, big time. I, when I announced this project, I got letters from, you know, people that hadn't paid much attention to me before because now suddenly, you know, I get it. <laughs> um, so, uh, so you know, it's you know, it's like a hangout. It's like a hangout, and I just love it. I just love yeah. it. So that, that kind of finishes off the whole, the whole cycle. So I go pick up the first roll tomorrow. Oh, oh really? Nice. Tomorrow is the Thursday pickup. Yeah, huh? tomorrow's the first roll. <laughs> so I tomorrow I'm gonna find out, you know, what I'm working with here, you know. Yeah. Right now I don't I don't know, which is I guess part of the fun. Yeah, so, exactly. I started off digital. I have no film background, but I have been running yeah. through some rolls now. Um so you said you don't you don't know what you're gonna get. Now, being that I don't know anything about film, is there going to be some consistency once you get that one roll back? Or the, is the likelihood there that they'll all have that same look, and you'll kind of tailor your shooting 
knowing what the outcome is, or is it just a crapshoot every time? No, I think you're. I think you know, kind of at the base of your question there, Jamie, is there will be consistency because the the film was all purchased in one batch. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's all been stored the same way, and and Fuji. They have good quality control in their film. That's why I used Fuji film for my weddings uh, back Absolutely. in the day. So uh, once I see how that first roll turns out, then I'm pretty much going to know, you know, what I'm in for the rest of the way. You know, the one thing that will be accurate, the exposures will be accurate. I'm very good with exposure, so mm-hmm. the exposures will be accurate. So what I'll really be looking at is, you know, what is the palette of mm-hmm. that particular uh, film and. And then I'll work with that. You're right. Then that I'll factor that into uh, you know the kind of shots that I or how I go after you know shots. Right. But uh, right. right now I just been shooting the hell out of it anyway. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so, like today I I did a portrait with it. You know, uh, you know. Um, so I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It'll be exposed I mean, properly. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll, that'll be good. So yeah. you know, I'm gonna move on to. Well, that, it's, it sounds exciting. I'm I'm actually looking forward to hearing the development through the podcast. I'm sure you're gonna touch on it here and there. Uh, to keep. Oh yeah, and, and Rocky Nook too. Uh, you oh, know, Rocky really? Nook okay. is gonna be the kind of the home of that project. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Even better. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. Uh, that's great. Yeah, because they 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 as you know, we'll speak about them while we while we're talking because you are right they are cool and they reached out to I know Jamie and I before out of Chicago you remember last year yeah and gave us all kinds of discounts for all our classes at out of Chicago for everyone they just they they get it I mean I, I hate they to do. say that's a good way of saying it, is they just they understand photography they and they're passionate um, and that's fun you know when you get people like that you can talk to them real easily but uh, so tell me about we'll go we'll go all the way up to we'll just leave film in the past <laughs> and head straight, <laughs> and yeah. straight, and straight into the frustration of uh, well I'll call it frustration I don't know maybe I'm sure most people Jamie won't agree with me my my Lightroom frustrations <laughs> <laughs> um, being an Aperture user for many years uh, of course uh, kept me really uh, uh, keyed in with Derek because of course you were. The, the man you and uh, Joseph Lenashki if if you couldn't That's understand right. it between you two you're just doing something yeah. wrong you know? exactly you, <laughs> you know? know but uh, so now you're saying Capture One might be your new go to that's, that's my lead. Now, right. So obviously you subscribe to the newsletter too, oh, right? Yeah, you, you imagine I might. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's the only place that I've talked to. That's uh, yeah. you know, the newsletter that has the inside scoops. Yeah. Um, I'm leaning. I'm leaning. Mm-hmm. So, so here's the deal with Capture One Pro Nine, which mm-hmm. just came out. So I'm um, I'm doing a Linda training on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so an essential training. So it's going to be pretty beefy. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is, you know, just like with any new software, we all kind of go through this. When you first look at it, you just mm-hmm. go, Ugh. you know, you just like. <laughs> It's like, oh, I'm not up for this, you know. I, I just, I just, I just want to wave a magic wand and understand what to do, kind of thing. Yep. So, uh, what I'm going to do with the Linda training on it is, is take a, a very sophisticated piece of software and make it easy, and uh, mm-hmm. you know, just, just give you. And then from there, you know, we, we might do more titles on it, you know, where we can drill down and some of the other stuff. But I, first thing I want to do is, is make it accessible to anyone that wants to use it. And the reason why is because these guys know what they're doing in terms of raw processing. I mean, they right. really do. The, uh, the kind of the thing that you hear a lot with Capture One, especially people coming from Lightroom and even mm-hmm. uh, from Aperture, is that my photos just look better. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and uh, you know, a lot of people think, and, and I'm not going to bash Adobe. I like Adobe. You know, I use, I use their products. But, oh, yeah. uh, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, they're the final word on raw processing. And, you know, a lot of people will disagree with that, mm-hmm. uh, especially uh, persnickety photographers. Right. And um, they're not necessarily the, the final word on raw processing. You know, raw processing is a, is a subjective art form. And, you yeah. know, everyone, you know, Apple had their take on it, has their take on it. They're still doing raw profiles. 
Sure. Uh, Adobe has theirs. Capture One has theirs. DxO has theirs. You know, on on and on. And what Capture One does with their raw processing is pretty nice. It's mm -hmm. it just feels like there's more there in the image. So that's a good place to start, right? That's mm -hmm. a good place to start. Um, the the part I've been not struggling with, but you know, definitely have had to focus on right. is uh, the photo management part because yeah. the thing that Aperture has, I don't care what any anyone says, I'm never going to change my mind on this. Mm -hmm. They had the best UI for photo management ever designed, uh, you know, for an application. And um, all you have to do is use something else to, you know, to see. Mm -hmm. Woof. God, why did you know? Why didn't whoever you're using? Why didn't they just like put that yeah. button right there? Because yeah. <laughs> you know that's where it should be. It like makes sense. So, um, yeah. so you know that's the part I've been trying to learn with Capture One because mm -hmm. you know they didn't start out trying to design, uh, you know, the Lightroom alternative. They started out just wanting software to go with their hardware. Uh, oh, you know yeah, they're that's right. they're you know they're very high end cameras which are fa exactly. they're phase one cameras right mm -hmm. so that's that's why it's called capture one is because mm -hmm. <laughs> the original idea was you know we're just going to create software to go with our cameras so people can have the ultimate photo experience uh, hardware software right. and you know they've broadened it over the years to now where it's uh, a, a great general purpose um, application. Mm -hmm. So the other the other reason why I'm considering it is because they're the only ones that have figured out how to take an Aperture library and import everything into a Capture One catalog. You mean silly things like star ratings, maybe yeah. stuff like that. Everything, yeah. everything. Yeah. Your <laughs> no. image edits, image yeah. edits, everything. Oh really? Yeah, Even it, the image it, edits go that way. Man, yes, that way. yes, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one button. One button, and they can do the same wow. for uh, Lightroom too. Really? So, oh, really? Hmm. yeah. So basically, all I have, like, you know, one of the tests I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate my 2015 Aperture library. Right. And then um, I've done it with small tests, but I'm going to do a big test and then import it into Capture One, and then d just you know st start using it uh, and and see how it compares. Because I know I've worked with all those images, right? From the right. Screen. So, yeah, um, so, but you know, in terms of transition, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, I would. That, that does sound good. I know, uh, Jamie. Did you say you you, were, you spent what a, a minute on Aperture one day? About about two yeah. days. You know, and it was the same thing. It was the man. Where's the magic wand? Because I don't want right. to learn something new all over again. Exactly. exactly. So I so I didn't. So I backed out. And part of it too was you know transitioning one library from from one system to another. That's just a headache that I don't want to have. But if Capture One makes it that easy, maybe it's something worth investigating for people to yeah. to look at it. At least, yeah, you know, you know that's, yeah. That's well, yeah, good. I guess the I found out I was talking to some uh, book publisher folks the other day, and they were saying that um, kind of one of the unspoken things in the business is that a lot of photographers who use Lightroom and who are known for as Lightroom users and write about mm -hmm. and all that do use Capture One on the side, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. So, That's, that yeah. Really <laughs> yeah. To, to hear so uh, you can, um, mm -hmm. anyway. Yeah. So uh, now the yeah. other thing I'm interested in was just yeah. announced today, which mm -hmm. is Alien Skins Exposure X, and uh, mm -hmm. and, and I'm really curious about that. Because they also are pretty good at, at high-end software, right? Because they didn't they put together just put something together, uh, isn't it? Uh, it's out, towards it's the middle of the year, right? Where well, okay, Ex Exposure's been around for a while. But what they announced today was Exposure X, which hmm. adds a photo management component to Exposure. So what Alien Skin's always been really good at is. Just you know, if you like film, for example, right? Their film em emulation is really pretty cool. So you can get these looks with Alien Skin yep. software that it's hard to get otherwise. <clears throat> and then of course the raw processing is good, all that. What they mm -hmm. did not have is a front end uh, to it. And so now what they've released is a front end. It's not it's not database driven, 
like Aperture okay. or Lightroom. Right. Uh, but it has a lot of organizational tools. It does have star ratings and all that kind of stuff. Okay. And uh, basically, you would use it as a reference library, right? You just put your right. stuff wherever you mm -hmm. want it, and then you know, and then it just it reads it. it. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that they did is they made it so that it can be a plug-in for uh, Photoshop or Lightroom. Oh, so really? you can, yeah. So you can use it as a you know a round trip. Okay, so you could do that, and it'd be an interesting way of, uh, you know, checking it out too. I think actually. Uh, yeah, 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 exactly. So, but I'm going to test it as a standalone because, you know, I I don't want Lightroom as my front end. You know, right, a, right. I want something. I want something else. Mm -hmm. So, um, but uh, it's I I like the way they write software. So I'm I'm looking forward to um you know to testing it. So yeah. that's going to happen here in the next <clears throat> week or so. So okay, I'll, can I ask a this. quick Go question ahead, about uh, your thing with Linda for On1? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I know it's early in the game right now, but mm -hmm. are you going to approach that from a person who is just starting off with just that, or are you going to approach it in a way that would help somebody like me who may transition from, say, Lightroom or Aperture into On1? Yeah, I think I think the logical way is... is you, is assuming that someone has some sort of experience mm -hmm. with with Lightroom or something else or Aperture, yep. and they're looking at um, uh, Capture One uh, as maybe an alternative, maybe on the side in the beginning, evolving possibly into their their head-on thing, because uh, I just think that's where the larger market is, right? You know, right. in terms of uh, folks. I mean, I I don't see. So Cap One is, you know, it's pretty heady software. So I don't see a newbie saying, "Hey, I need a photo management software." Oh, I'm going to go with Capture One because, yeah, yeah I mean, that exactly. would be crazy. <laughs> that would yeah. be like saying, "I'm going to learn to drive on a on a big rig," you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. yeah exactly. uh, so I, um, it'd be. I think Jamie's going to be more for guys like you. Okay, great. That's good. Well, that, That's yeah, guys. that'll be cool to see then uh, as well. And you're, you know, are you doing that? Uh, you don't have to go down, I heard you say, or you get to do that at your place now? Yeah, so uh, I'm doing all my Linda recording uh, mm -hmm. in my studio now. So Great. Uh, the one that just came out yesterday, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Photos for OS X Essential Training, just yeah. came out yesterday. That was mm -hmm. all done right here, all right here. Oh, really? So, That's yeah. nice. So, so we do uh, sound checks, you know, I, I record uh, samples and uh, we send it down and the techs go over it and they say, hey, back it off two decibels or mm -hmm. you know, do this or that. And then I lock in the settings and then um, I just go, just hmm. uh, nice. let, her, let her fly. And I, I have a dedicated uh, recording studio upstairs. Right, right. We're doing your stuff. At, so I share it with great. the cat. Wait, I, I should wait. I, I should back off here. It's not dedicated. Uh, the cat has <laughs> half cat. the room. It's a shared space. Yeah. Right. Yes, yeah, it's, yeah. it's a shared space because I have a studio cat. cat. <laughs> right, studio cat. That's a, yeah. That's an she just lives, she lives here. Yeah, the, the cat just sort of hangs around, doesn't it? <laughs> she does. Yeah. She does. Yeah. I say. Uh, I say goodbye to her at night and tell her to, uh, you know, keep an eye on the place. And then uh, every morning when I come here, she's at the front door waiting for me. Yeah, exactly. Sweet. I like it. You know, it's like, yeah. aw. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, wouldn't everyone love to go to work and have someone just standing there to say, you know, I'm so glad you're here. You know, yes, we never get that I, I don't work. seem to get that where I work every day. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. You, you know. get more like, where the hell have you been, right? Yeah, I'm, on, I'm on the opposite side of, you know, being in HR, I usually hear complaints. So <laughs> exactly. it comes in pretty hot and heavy that way. Um, but you know what, let's let's talk about, we talked a little bit about in the beginning, and, and that's the, the workshop that's coming up next year that uh, yeah, that, yeah. We, that I'll be there and, and helping, and, and I can't wait to get there. I've done them in the past with you, and that's... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll lead in maybe with that, is if you haven't taken a workshop, and I don't care if it's Derek's or Jamie and myself, or do, you know, do yourself a favor and get out there and take a workshop because that will make you a better photographer. Uh, I, don't, I don't care what anybody says. You do slow down in it, and you, um, you meet people. That's always the thing I walk away from. Every time I do, do one yeah. personally, and when I do one in teaching out here, I know Jamie and I have made, Unbelievably great photography yeah. friends. 
um, that's going to last forever. You know those those friendships and uh, you know so so let's talk. And, and if you're if you're gonna do one, you're gonna do one in California. Don't even think of doing anyone else's unless you do Derek's, <laughs> because I'm gonna tell you you're gonna have a blast. You know if it's shooting I, 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 or streets. You know? Right, I, I tend to agree with that. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but I really agree with the first part of your statement, which is there's this you know because you do them and you know mm -hmm. and a lot of folks that are uh, watching have gone to workshops and you know yep. it, this day and age they're more important than ever because mm -hmm. you know okay let's say at home you know let's say we had a good shoot and you know you're yammering on about it and mm -hmm. and you know whoever gets stuck listening to you is going yeah that's nice oh that's that's a good oh that's a uh -huh. nice picture you know yep. all that all I, I, you know <laughs> I, I'm happy I'm happy you had a good shoot honey and um, you know, God, you know, God bless them for putting up with us. So, uh, but uh, you know, the thing is, when you come to a workshop, uh, everyone that's attending the workshop is that guy or that gal that you know is excited about the picture and 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 doesn't get to really have a, a community to to talk about it with in person. And uh, that part I love, and you know. I first really got turned on to this uh, when I did the uh, when Lightroom first came out. Before it came out, we did there was the Lightroom Adventure in Iceland, and um, mm -hmm. twelve of us were sent to uh, Iceland uh, by Adobe, and uh, we were using a beta version of Lightroom. And the whole idea was to promote the application when it came out. And, and uh, these were great photographers. You know, you know, Mr. Luminous Landscape was there, and mm -hmm. you know. Uh, John McDermott, all sorts of folks, yeah. and uh, the part that I I loved Iceland, I loved everything about it. It was a fantastic place. But the thing that I loved was hanging around the workroom there while we were editing our images or making prints or whatever, and just the the, the jibber jabber that was mm -hmm. going on while people was doing their stuff. That you you just cannot get that anywhere else. And um, yeah. to this day, uh, when when we do our shops. I love out shooting. I love all the stuff, but the thing that I love the most is this when people are just chewing the fat while they're working on their pictures and talking shop. And I, you know, I tell you, I could do that every day. I, I could yeah. do that every day. I get I, tired I mean, it's, of it. It's so it's, much fun. What's funny is uh, when, when you leave, um, there's a real letdown. It's like depressing because yeah. you, oh, God, I really had people to talk to the last three days. <laughs> I know. <People> <laughs> not <laughs> not <laughs> You know, and like you said, God bless them for putting up with us because I, I say that all the time about my wife. But, but exactly. truthfully, you know, she does not care if I go to Capture One, Aperture, or Lightroom. She could give a rip. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Whatever. In fact, she would she would prefer that you just make the decision without right. discussing it. Not, <laughs> not so, well, tell, so anyway, tell us about in, the San, San Francisco, Francisco one. Yes. Okay, so the uh, San Francisco one, this is the third year. You've right. been to the uh, the first two. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so now now you're co-teaching it. So this is the first mm -hmm. thing we've got. We've got two instructors mm -hmm. and a maximum of eight people. All right. Right. Do the math. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's that's good numbers right there. We're staying at uh, and working out of a very cool place at the Cartwright Hotel, which is old town San Francisco at its best. You can just walk out the front door. One, one of my favorite shots you took last year was right outside the front door of the cart right, you know, mm -hmm. uh, that you took in the morning. Uh, and then we have an itinerary which is on the site. If you just go to thedigitalstory.com and click on workshops, the, I've, I got a link uh, in there to the San Francisco itinerary. I have put together my best my best game plan yet for uh, <laughs> for the city, and, and we're gonna do uh, stuff stuff that you probably a lot of the stuff you probably wouldn't do uh, even if you came to San Francisco on your own. Uh, right. and, but you're gonna be doing it with where I'm taking care of everything. All the, you don't have to worry about. All you have to do is show up with your camera, you know. Right. And I don't and I don't want you thinking about anything else. I want you to just let me take care of everything, and you come and just immerse in your photography because you know what you don't get to do that uh, hardly ever and uh, then we're gonna have a blast and I'm gonna have you know Mike's gonna be um, uh, working his wizardy on night mm -hmm. shooting 
you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm just handy night shooting over to Mike because yeah. he does it better than me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, you know, and, and we're just gonna have a blast. It's gonna be three yeah, days. I, that's exactly it, and and I know, uh, um, you know, you'll have uh, if you have Leah there. Uh, yep. She does an amazing yep. job. Um, in fact, Leah, we're gonna have her on the show because we wanted to actually talk about, uh, you know, being a model and how models, yeah. you know, how you talk, is how how does a model uh, get treated by photographers? But then to have yeah. a model that actually shoots mirrorless, hey, now yes. that's a, <laughs> that's a fine. Yeah. So we just. We just got to get her schedule and our schedules together, and we're going to have her on. Yeah. But, um, but truthfully, the uh, I, I agree. I think you just uh, pull up, you know, and uh, and get engaged, and you just don't look back. Uh, you don't have to worry about anything. You know, you know where everything's at. You know where it's going, and you've got a plan. I see you even threw in this year. You even got some. Uh, uh, we're stopping for lunch together. Uh, yeah, we're gonna place, we have so. lunch in Chinatown. We're gonna have lunch in right. Chinatown. That's that's yeah. the place to do it. <laughs> we're gonna For take sure. a a ferry ride to Sausalito. The ferries right. in the Bay Area are just a blast, you know. Yeah. And so and, and it's one of the best ferry rides in the world, I think. Um, and it's even set up that if you're flying in from out of town, you don't even have to rent a car because you know, oh, yeah. um, just get you from the airport straight to straight to downtown. Not a problem. Oh, easy. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the you know. The um, BART system, if you want to jump on that or take a cab, whatever way you're coming in, uh, is Piece so, so simple in, in San Francisco. Yeah. Very, very good yeah. that way for sure. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited. It, it is going to be fun. And, and the hotel is, um, wow, it's an amazing hotel because you do feel <laughs> like you're somewhere yeah. back in time when you walk in. Yeah. Like, Whoa. The elevator, everything. In fact, sometimes I'm worried about the elevator. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you know, well, the, uh, when the, a lot the, of people the, get in there, I go, okay, relax, let's not go up together. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, the thing I didn't want is uh, everyone, you know, to come into town for mm -hmm. a cool uh, street photography workshop and, and go to a Hyatt because, yeah. it, you know, nothing against Hyatts. I love Hyatts or whatever, mm -hmm. but uh, that could be anywhere. You know, I, mm -hmm. I wanted them, when they, when they came in to this workshop, I wanted them to feel like they are in San Francisco. Right, you know, and uh, and I think that's what the Cartwright does, and yeah, they definitely. have a good staff. They're, they're nice people, and very uh, accommodating. And and the room yeah. for uh, processing on the last day, well, actually, all the classes and everything. Last year we had that larger room, uh, yeah. much more easy to you know. And I, I think sometimes you you actually have to work if I um, say this properly. You actually have to work to get the class back focused because everybody's talking about their own craft mm -hmm. and you're like, hey guys, we got to work on some of the workshop stuff too. <laughs> that happens but, you a know, lot. Like, okay, let's get back to it. <laughs> that, but that's when, that's when I know, uh, I, I always wait for that moment, you know, yeah. because, you know, in the beginning, the, the first night, you know, we do the reception on that. Right. You know, the night before. You know, everyone, it's just like first day of class, right? Everyone's a little mm -hmm. stiff and, uh, and yeah. then, uh, then there's some magic moment that happens sometime during the first day where suddenly I can't get a word in edgewise, and then that's 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 when I know the group has gelled, you know. Right. And, and it, at, at that point, technically, they don't need me, you know, anymore. But <laughs> but I, I still I still insert myself anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's it's it turns from uh, instructor to tour guide at some time. There, you yeah, know. yeah. Because everybody does. I think they start instructing, and I think on the last day is when all the gear starts coming out. I know on the yeah, last, yeah. last one, I was with Mary. I, Mary, uh, who continually talks to me all the time, the one that was in Cuba. She, uh, she's coming again. Is she, yeah, is she? Uh, you know, we talked about it, so that's excellent. <laughs> and uh, you know, the gear thing over the last year is everybody has cameras on. Going, oh, I need that. I need that. You know. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, it's um, yeah that part. Uh, you know, I'm not very popular with spouses because yeah, uh, yeah. When uh, when it when it's said and done, you're right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, well, what uh, you know, uh, Jamie and I. I know Jamie's uh, the experience that he had last year out of Chicago, and and I know you're going to be there. We'll talk just a minute, maybe about that. Um, sure. And and you said you jump you jumped in. Uh, both feet, you're, you're doing all kinds of stuff. So, do you know what, yeah. what it is, what you're doing there? 
I do. I, I you uh, know, we're still obviously working on it, but um, right. I'm going to do a, a, a regular uh, s seminar, you know, regular sort of, and uh, during the, the program proper on mm -hmm. uh, printing, actually, and, and oh, wow. specifically, you know, going, uh, you know, from, you know, these newer cameras, mirrorless cameras and so forth, and producing a print. Uh, I'm just, you know, as you know, it's something that I, I'm, I'm passionate about because yeah. I think, uh, if you stop before the print, you're not getting the full artistic experience. I'm not saying you have to print everything, but boy, if you if you print 12 things a year, uh, you know those. I guarantee you, those 12 things will become cherished items uh, yeah. over time. So uh, I want to talk about that, and uh, you know, uh, and Red River Paper is uh, sponsoring that talk. So that you know, okay. that's just got good juju written all over it, <laughs> and. Then, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to do a, a workshop uh, before uh, on uh, called the Nimble Photographer, and that's where I just get into all this, mm -hmm. you know, just, just how to be more, how to be more clever, how to travel lighter, how to increase mm -hmm. your creativity by not, you know, weighing yourself down with too much gear, right. and um, also, uh, you know. How, how is a philosophy too? You know, not just for mm -hmm. photography, but just life in general. Just being lighter, mm -hmm. and uh, so so I'm going to do a workshop uh, there uh, on that, and then I'll probably do a photo walk. No, oh, okay, cool, excellent. Yeah, uh, that, that that'll be good. Well, you know what, uh, Jamie and I know are doing the one workshop on the the live composite, the night the night piece, mm. uh, and uh, so I don't even that'll think we're awesome. starting. Yeah, I don't think we're starting even the class part of that till 6 o'clock in, in the yeah. evening because it gets dark so late in Chicago. <laughs> we need, we need you know, some dark uh, areas. But, uh, yeah. yeah, so if you could you could actually go in and take your probably nimble photography class and then jump right over into ours uh, yeah. and go all night long because if you're going to be in Chicago, there's really, you can sleep when you get home. Oh, yeah, get At the least most out of the experience. Last year, Jamie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we were, it was, what, 6 a.m. till... Midnight, one, two o'clock in the morning, you know, for the entire duration. But you know what? You're you're maximizing, you know, yeah. your time there. You know, you got to get the most out of it. You're not there every weekend, or I'm not. So. Well, exactly. I'm not either. I ha I you haven't know. been there for a few years, so I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And then we go. Uh, and I, it's like I just love what those guys have done, Chris and those guys. Mm -hmm. You know, it's. Um, it's it's hard to bootstrap an event like that, and you know. Oh yeah. You know, they're doing. They're doing it. Oh yeah, yeah, it's exploding. It's becoming so big, so fast. It's great, right. and it's so yeah, close to home. Yeah, exactly. For us, it's so close. It's a, it's a nice, you know, five-hour drive for me, or four hours for Jamie, and it's and you're there. It's only a, a couple-hour flight, you know, for a lot of people in the country. So it's it's yeah. a perfect spot for it. Exactly. It's a great city. I agree. Exactly. I agree. But uh, all right. Well, what else? Do you have anything else right now, Jamie? Or nope, I am golden. <laughs> Your goal. <laughs> I'm just excited just listening to you guys talk. Yeah. I, yeah. no, it's, it's actually been uh, this. This sort of feels like a workshop, you know. Just yeah. sitting around your BS and about uh, exactly the things, same thing. things that are important, you know, personal projects and and uh, you know the, the types of things about uh, hey, what what program are you going to edit your pictures in? I mean, that's that's the two probably biggest things you're talking about at a workshop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's always it'll, it's always fun. Well, I think with that, I, I know we usually try. We don't like to go long, and, and then just like you, Derek, I, I know you try to keep yours right on your podcast, and that's something yep. I know we, we talked about we like to do too is not go too long. So everybody's got other stuff they got to get going on. Um, but I just want to appreciate it again. You coming on has been fantastic. Um, looking forward to April for sure, uh, you know, when we're teaching together out there in San Francisco and then getting to hook up again at more towards the east side of the – of the states here, <laughs> it'll be, good, be nice. Good stuff. Yeah. It's and, gonna be good uh, stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Well, I, I appreciate uh, being on you guys. I mean, you guys doing a cool show here, and so it's mm -hmm. fun for me to be on it. And and you know, just direct everyone over to thedigitalstory.com, and you know, everything flows out of there. Uh, yep. Everything yeah. I do is runs through that site there. Yeah. So in yeah, the the show ahead. notes or description on YouTube channel, like we always do on all our shows, we're gonna have links to all of Derek's information, you know, his website, his workshop calendar, um, and everything we talked about tonight, you know, so mm -hmm. just like usual, people, you know where to go to get the links. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. Well, 
So you, thanks you, again, Derek. I really know. appreciate you taking the time to come on. It's kind of a big deal for us. So yeah, yeah well, it's, been, it's been a blast for me. I, I really appreciate, it. and you know, we'll definitely do it again. Maybe, uh, maybe before out of Chicago or something. You know, we can yeah. get back together. Something yeah, like that. Sounds fun. good to me. And, since we'll all know what we're doing, then you know yeah. we can say, okay, <laughs> we can fight. You know, <laughs> go to yeah. his. No, go to his. Exactly. <laughs> all right, guys. I'll see you later. You take care, Derek. All right, see you. Bye. All right, bye. bye.